Hey, yo, what is up, my guys? So, uh, most people probably know me from the time I played it, from the short time period of time I played Honkai. Uh, I did a lot of streaming playing Vanguard Zero. We did some Master Duel content. Um, and I've just all around kind of done a lot of Vanguard content, not really... I don't actually think I had a specific goal for the channel. Um... I wanted to talk about my experience with the sprite deck and going forward kind of picking up a game finishing it and going to the next one kind of a deal uh right now we are doing a playthrough of digimon survive on twitch i am taking the day off because i need a i, I much needed day off because i may have only streamed like one day each week the last three weeks but i have been working every single other day that i haven't streamed so taking a day where I don't stream, I don't do anything, I just kind of relax. I went to the card shop, I'm gonna go to sleep here soon. But I wanted to go ahead and talk and um, discuss the sprite deck entirely. And see, sprites is a very interesting deck. Um, the fact that I have as little for it as I do like yeah i've got my 3m perms from the cyber dragon deck i'm playing two solemn judgment because i don't have a th i didn't get a chance to pick up a third one i opened up a slayer i've got a regeki harpy's feather duster call by the grave dark ruler no more was really good in the uh sprite matchup like i played against another sprite deck and so i was just like dark ruler no more they played dark ruler no more against me too it really hurts the deck uh so if you're expecting a lot of sprites dark ruler no more in the main deck is really good also a lot of decks that have um on field effects that will, could cause you a lot of problems dark ruler no more is really good so i'll just leave that at three for now uh sprite smashers at one this was a decent removal option and like once you've gotten done with a lot of your combo if you can't keep comboing out it's okay to use this to just banish something and, and pop a problematic thing on your opponent's board uh three sprite starter is what i ended up with i actually ended up playing one of the uh kurikara and i think this might become a um it's basically like a, a different version of nibiru apparently i'm being told this things i've just barely been getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. uh so playing one of this was actually pretty nice um i was playing monster reborn i was playing a couple of carrot um but i'm gonna play draw i'm gonna increase to three ghost ogre um diva didn't pop up at all so because i was just playing an extra red and a carrot i'm gonna order two more diva um so that she'll work and so that i get combos with the um Halky for Brax, because Halk will search out a um a uh, uh brain. Halk can search out like hand traps and stuff like that, like the ghost ogre and uh effect veilers, and then I can bounce things back to my hand. So that's not bad. Uh Dupe Frog, I was actually playing two Ronin Tonin Toten. Uh, but three swap frog as well. You know, the frog engine's just really good in this deck. It goes through things very really well. Uh, effect veiler because I don't actually have um, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. No, not Snow Rabbit. Snow Rabbit. Uh, I don't have um, the other hand trap that you really like. You, you need three of. I'm waiting until the Crystal Beast structure deck comes out because I'm not going to drop $25 on a card that's going to get reprinted at a $10 product. Uh, just not doing it. I got myself two blue today. Um, I'm hoping I might go back to the shop tomorrow. I know the shop has one. I might go back and just pick up the third one. Um, I draw a lot of money today and this is kind of just the result. Then two more Sprite Red and then the three Sprite Jet. Um, so that's what my deck was looking like right now. And then, you know what? I kind of want to change about it. I want to make sure that I have the rest of the cards kind of just fill in the rest of the spots. I'm not going to play anything super expensive in um, the deck because, like, I'm not super rich. Um, buddy of mine put this in there. Never played it. Didn't get it once. Al Mirage, I can see where it could pop up, but in the mat, like, we played two rounds. Really didn't do much. There was five of us. Uh, Hulk, as I said, good combo. Uh, good that I already had it. 
uh two sprite elf i think this is like the minimum that you need i th i heard some people are wanting to bump this up to three i could see why you would want it at three um but i mean it, it didn't actually do too bad uh gigantic sprite at two was great then i have the first two pieces to the zeus package so cent centaur and then downer but i don't have the zeus yet i'm gonna order those and then cat shark was really good um the ability to get gigantic sprite as a 32 on its own and then cat shark to be able to pump it up to like a 64 uh is nice this deck has a lot of um interaction on your opponent's turn like you can do things on your opponent's turn you have ways of locking your opponent down uh omni negates in the form of multiple different things between toad then being able to do things like uh elf to go grab to grab either carrot or red or elf to grab um jet jet grabs starter or you know just a bunch of different options you have uh to respond to whatever your opponent does but that, that's like the experience i had playing sprites the deck the deck honestly does a lot um and it can be a little bit daunting to get the hang of um i didn't know i played it today because i was like it's either that or cyber dragons and i'm playing cyber dragons against somebody who fully built uh tier limits uh person who pretty much had sprites built as well we played a mirror match and god i won that one two one somehow he i i built broke his board round one uh and then round two it was reverse positions and then round three he just kind of bricked um and i don't know what the other person where the other two are playing there are only five of us but but um cyber dragons was not what i wanted to take like an otk strat so i took sprites because i was like ah oh, this is what i got for it i might as well play it right um so there was that um i do want to do a little bit more Yu-Gi-Oh content i was going to open one of the boxes on stream but i opened all six of my boxes at the shop at my locals like six boxes was insane um i probably spent way too much i did pick up an ob one of the obelisk structure deck that way i had the um uh the heartbeats feather duster and then uh there's a nimble card which you can use in place kind of of the uh diva because it's a level two you summon it you special summon out uh, another copy of it basically and then you've got you know two level twos you can start popping off and just really uh extend your combos easily um i found that like it there's a big mind game with it uh your opponent may have counters but they're gonna want to counter the right thing and because you can pop off with very little effort if i have a blue in hand i can pop off if i've got a starter in hand i can pop off if i've got a jet in hand i can pop off there are so many different ways to pop off if they counter the wrong part and you can still and you still have another thing so like let's say i have blue and a starter in hand i might go starter first or i'll go blue first let them negate it you and they've used their one to negate i'm gonna go starter blue jet grab another starter or i've even had to grab um the other spell once so not a whole lot of play um and i might do another video talking about it later on because i didn't do a box opening video i figure i'll pop out a video talking about the deck and talking about how it genuinely was a lot of fun to mess around with and i do look forward to um messing with it in the future but uh for now um give the video a like subscribe uh comment any cards that like tech options i could put in i know there's like different builds and some people play like different versions of the deck but i'm trying to stick to pure sprites as much as possible um i'm also trying not to drop like hundreds of dollars on the deck i have already done spent too much uh i'm probably gonna look at like selling a couple of vanguard decks and or my uh digimon stuff so that i can afford to uh go in more so hopefully that'll work out but yeah comment below what um kind of tech options you like to throw in the deck i know gamma and driver is another one people will play that package in there 
Um, so if there's any others that I haven't talked about, let me know, because I don't think, I can't think of any other off the top of my head, so just do that. Uh, give me a follow over on Twitch. If this video, I want to say, let's say if this video hits 10 likes, um, before, what, 10 likes? You know, let's hit the bar low. If it hits five likes, right? Let's uh, let's hit the bar low. If it hits five likes by Wednesday, Thursday's night stream will be a master duel stream, where I literally do nothing but try to just but just place uh, master duels, uh, master duel. So um, yeah, do those things, and I'll catch you all next time.